all right guys it's an early morning um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually driving to a place today where i'm gonna be fixing the w124 just working on it kind of but first i'm actually gonna go ahead and visit the junkyard really quick uh currently we have it's like 7 a.m um and uh, yeah so that's the plan basically i'm gonna go ahead um and uh go to the junkyard you know we'll probably uh, make a few clips over there for you guys and after that i'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive to that place all right guys we still have like probably an hour left of driving that junker is actually kind of far but um, um yeah um hopefully we'll have fun so should be a productive day today guys and uh let's see yeah it's like 7 15 right now um and surprisingly there's a lot of cars it's saturday but still kind of i consider it to be a lot of cars uh, why are you pressing on the brake bro just go straight yeah so but you've probably like if you if you saw my other uh, previous uh, uh, videos you probably recognize this area uh, it's beautiful over here Washington Pacific Northwest Alright guys, another day at the junkyard, I'm guessing. Alright guys, early morning. Not many people going to the junkyard, so...
All right, it's time to put this super diesel additive liquid moly in this baby. I'm gonna pour it in. Maybe that helps with performance. I don't know, this is the first time I'm putting this in. And my fuel tank is not full. It's actually at the quarter mark. So they all say that you have to put it when the when your uh, fuel level is all the way high, all the way full. But I don't think that's actually the, should be the case because when you have the less fuel you have, the better probably because then you can actually it's gonna mix up pretty good with the rest of the fuel. So the concentration is gonna be like quite a high. You know, so you'll be able it will, it will be able to clean your injectors and your fuel system better. But uh, as you guys know, I don't know. I'm just trying this thing because I did the diesel purge on this car already and did the fuel filters. So uh, it's just something that was laying around. So good thing to try, I guess. Sometimes see how that works or if that works at all. All right guys, so this is the battery from the Cherry Pie. It's actually in a really good condition, not a problem. It has, uh, I'm bringing it to AutoZone right now because uh, I need to uh, charge it up. It's got 12 volts, but it was, it was sitting for like two weeks probably, so I just wanna uh, charge it up. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that low on the battery, but I just wanna charge it a little bit. Uh, so they will do that for me, and then I'll pick it up again and reinstall the battery on the Cherry Pie and should be all good to go guys she's so clean guys I guess so picked up the battery and it's funny they said they were not able to charge that battery uh, but before I was giving it away for them to charge it uh, the voltage was actually 12 volts so it wasn't discharged but they said that it wasn't the battery tested bad and they were not able to actually charge it you know it wouldn't take charge which is I think is absolutely nonsense you know honestly saying those people sorry if you guys are you know the employees of local car parts you know stores it's it's just sometimes it's just annoying you know sometimes you know you guys don't know what you're doing so i didn't want to argue or anything i just left i took my battery so i'm gonna see what i can do you know the battery's still good uh just i wanted to charge it you know all the way to 12.6 because it was discharged a little bit uh, because the car was you know the cherry pie was sitting a little bit but either way i'm gonna figure something out with it you know the car is still gonna start with that charge uh on the battery and i'll just have to basically you know the alternator is gonna charge that thing so how the battery tray looks and there's rust under the battery tray and then this was under the battery as well i'm assuming this is a cover for the positive post Somebody left here probably back in 1992 or something. Um, okay. 